hello, like my hat? You probably think it means St. Louis or something. I like to think it means sword and laser because I just went to the sword and laser mailbox and wow, we have a lot of books. You know, the last few weeks I've been like, oh, only one book, only one book. They made up for it. They came now. So I kind of pre-opened them to let us be able to, to move along. But you will see the packages are still here. We start with Treachery Tools by L. E. Modesit Jr. Uh, 13 years after the events of Madness in Solidar, Alistair has settled into his role. Spoiler, 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 spoiler. Uh, this is an arc, though, so this isn't coming out for quite a while. And I'm looking to see if they actually have the date. Do they have that on the front? I don't know. So, uh, so yeah, there you go. They don't even have a date on this thing, do they? It's coming, though. It's coming. <laughs> Here I was going to try to keep things going fast. All right, let's get to the next one. This is a real, honest-to-goodness, hardback book. And it is called Devil's Evidence by Simon Kurt Unsworth, a devil's ad author of The Devil's Advocate. Thomas Fool, the resilient investigator doomed to catalog Hell's atrocities in Simon Kurt Unsworth's stunning debut, The Devil's Detective, is back! I feel like it might be spoilery to, to tell you more than that, but here's the deal. Here's what you need to know. This is coming out someday. But we don't know when. So, oh, July 5th. It's already out. You can already get it. See? That's amazing. All right, on to the next one. This is R. Scott Baker's The Great Ordeal. It's a nice looking cover. With over 175,000 copies in print, the high fantasy novels of R. Scott Baker, one of the godfathers of Grimdark, have dazzled fans around the world. That's that's the cut. That's the jacket copy. <laughs> that's that's what they're trying to hook you with. Uh, the Great Ordeal by R. Scott Baker is buried july 5th it's out too boom actually today's not to, today's still june what am i talking about july 5th is yet to come on to the next one this is our scott baker's the great ordeal they sent us two well that explains some of it on to the next one the dinosaur knights by victor milan is this one coming out july 5th Paradise is a sprawling, diverse, often cruel world. There are humans on Paradise, but dinosaurs predominate. I'm in. Look at that knight riding a dinosaur right there. Just keep looking at that because that is going to convince you that when July 5th rolls around, you're going to want to check out that book by Victor Milan. Two more. Two more left. This is Time Siege by the awesome Wesley Chu. Having been haunted by the past and enslaved by the present, James Griffin Mars is taking control of the future, one in which Earth is a toxic, sparsely inhabited wasteland, the perfect place for a fugitive ex cron man to hide from the authorities. Well done. Next one from Wesley Chu. What do you want to guess? Uh, July 5th? No. Ha! You're wrong. So am I. July 12th for that one. Last one. This is Arabella of Mars. It's got a very classic feel by David Levine. Since Newton witnessed a bubble rising from his bathtub, mankind has sought the stars. When William III of England commissioned Captain William Kidd to command the first expedition to Mars in the late 1600s, he proved that space travel was both possible and profitable. I love that. I love that. Like, This is kind of doing a little bit what Radiance was doing in, in hearkening back to the classic days. This one also comes out July 12th. So there you go. We've got a nice stack of books there. If you'd like some more reading ideas... Head on over to swordandlaser.com and subscribe to our podcast. We just interviewed Fran Wild. If you haven't checked that out, she is not only an awesome author of this month's book pick, Updraft, but also has a ton of great reading suggestions in our latest episode. See you over there.